Welcome back. Polaris versus Motivated Trust. Winner here goes all the way to fight Boom in the Grand Finals. Yeah, but the back and forth between the Pango and the Magnus. The Magnus does have an easier time in the jungle. So you can kind of clear out the camps fairly quick on that Pango, but the Magnus just has so much Xavius. more potential there with the Empower. That is a lot of damage, Mr. Xavius. Oh, He's going to drop again. <laughs> Going to maybe the four staff or guard Greaves for your ability and run from there. Seeing that though, Mavis. They're going to get caught here. Maseros should have enough. And in fact, Fearless is going to come in. Just get the last right click in on the Lena. So last bit of bonus gold for him. Meanwhile, towards the mid lane, they have found Boom Bui. He's going to try and stick charge and survive through this with the Fairy Fire out. He might make it. In fact, now the rotations. In fact, no. He does die under the T2 tower, but they might get Lelouch as a nice trade here as he is just trying to run, but is going to drop. Hit that Vendetta time and start running out. Xavier's so still under a sentry. Gonna find the sun out. Won't matter. It's a sentry. It's gonna be too late when they notice this Q is still trying to run. It might actually make it out, but no, Natsumi, he's gonna be there. He'll secure the kill. Problem is, though, Felis is right behind him with the Laguna Blade. Natsumi, he has no battle trance right now. He might just be set to fall and will. Motivate Trust, they're gonna try for something. They'll see Force in that mid lane. That'll be a nice pick off if they can get it. Force, he'll get stunned immediately and they should have some damage, but the skewer, not going to be enough. Laguna was there from Felis. In fact, now Maseros looking for more. He's not going to find Mavis, but it won't matter. They would love to have their Magnus to skewer RP, but they should have to find different angles. Yeah, Roshan getting very low though. Natsumi going to try and move in. He'll go on to Q. Starbreaker, or rather, Solar Guardian's going to be there for a little bit. In fact, he is still alive, but should eventually go down. And now Motivate, they aren't feeling confident. They'll try to get out. Roshan's so low though, they can't really leave a B. As now Felix will move back in with the Light Tracker. He misses, and now the RP misses. Everything just being whiffed from either side. Still, Lelouch going to jump back in now. On to Jackie. They'll at least find the Wraith King. He did not have reincarnate or the mana for it at the very least. Is now Masteros ends up dropping. Jackie's going to buy back a complete mess in this mid-river. His motivate still looking for a way back at this Roshan pit, but Lelouch trying to get a Dragon Tail stun off. Roshan getting started here. So they jump in, but Jackie, he'll be skewered back onto oh. the high ground now. He has no TP and he has no blink either. No way off this cliff. Force, he's just going to stand there and take his death as Natsumi and Lelouch. They'll go after the Roshan and all Jackie can do is watch. Oh my god. At least he got front front row seats, John. Got great seats there for Jackie, but it's a, it's a tough watch here for the Wraith King. And this will be a tieback as well. Just nothing the man can do on Polaris. They'll take the net worth lead for the first time this game. And boy, that's a rough old start. For Motivators, now the Rolling Thunders here for Masteros. They're still going to try, but the Battle Trance is out from Natsumi. He'll just taste down the Rolling Thunder. But never mind that, he'll go after Q instead. Another pick off there for the Troll Warlord. Getting control before the BKBs fly in. That could be one way to kind of apply control. Uh -oh. You can always see that jungle taken over. Xavius. He's going to try and set up onto Masteros, but he gets stunned up himself, and they should be able to at least find a Nyx Assassin kill. Trying to buy a little bit of time with the Spike Carapace and Yule Scepter. In fact, now the rejump in. Natsumi's here. He pops the Battle Trance immediately onto Fearless. Fearless will go for a run, but Lelouch is there to try and cut him off. And this Lina, well, he's running fast, but it's not looking great for him as the stun is going to be out, and they do get him. A one for one. In fact, it might be more because Jackie is not out of the woods either. Force, he's got the RP available, and they should have plenty of control for the Wraith King. They might, they might even just wait Natsumi to start burning the mana of Jackie first, and that is exactly what he does. This Diffusal Blade just making it hellish for Jackie to actually be able to use that Reincarnate. All their spells up, they just need to find that one here to kill. Yeah. Well, Xavius has already broken the smoke though. They'll get a Sentry Ward down, but this is not the kill you really want. They can't even see him right now. Well, now they can with the Observer Ward out, but Xavius, a very quick Spike Carapace. They'll get him with the Rolling Thunder. They are trying so hard to burst down this Nyx. Force now, skewer away on Jackie. Maybe they can at least take down this Magnus, but not quite yet. Natsumi, though, he's been stunned up. Solar Guardian going to be there, but he'll get to work. In the meantime, Fearless, he's already dropped on the Lena, but don't commit buybacks. But you've got Jackie, who has dropped his first life. 
He's got the shards up now though. He doesn't need the mana, but he does need to run. So he cannot take the damage that is flying out from this troll warlord. As they've got him once again. They'll take him down, no problem. There'll be no buyback on Jackie. Roshan up. Double damage rune spawning up as well, as is tradition. But never mind all that, John. They're going to make the jump in for the Dawnbreaker. They just won't commit them. Like, never mind him. On to Masteros we go. Why not a Pangalier instead? Solar Guardian, no global sounds. Just no way to break that team fight off from Polaris. And Polaris can just clean up. They take the mid racks. They're going to go for top next. And the name changes again, just coming into effect, it seems, as these teams, <laughs> at least Polaris, have just looked so good ever since they changed their names. That's a real big problem. He's hitting very hard right now. They are going to make their move in. They're going to find Boom Bowie on that silencer. No real great way out for him either. He'll get slowed up and just one hit from Natsumi will get the job done. Like they'd love to fight a bit more but the TPs are already out. Fearless and Jackie just hide in the tree line and just wait out patiently. First damage from Motivate Trust can keep up. Last set of racks is going to fall. No buybacks on the respawning heroes, but they're going to be up shortly, and they just called the GG. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, I mean, rather anticlimactic way to end, but I, I suppose Polaris just looking way too strong this game. Picks the Magnus up. He's been practicing it. We'll get into it. Game number two between Polaris Esports and Motivate Trust. But you can't really do much to stop that. Still not to me up top, though. Yeah, he got skewered back into that tier 1 tower. Roll's not going to connect. He is still in pretty big danger, but the ink swap might buy him a little bit of time. But they have the skewer and the boulder smash. In the meantime, mid lane Lelouch dropping so low, but Jackie, he's going to end up dropping a Xavius. In the meantime, mid lane, they've got the Ember. Kiss is going to be committed, and Lelouch does end up dropping. So Fearless now able to set up. When at mags alone, it doesn't have much leaning presence, doesn't have much threat without setup. So you just kind of use that opening. Still a lot of emphasis on mid, Doomboy. Oh. They're going to move in, Xavius. He'll go on to Fearless. I love that snap by right now. As Lelouch, he's going to throw all the remnants forward and they've got him. They'll take one down and they'll find another Boom Booey <laughs> to drop. <laughs> he, does, he does get the stun off, but it won't matter. Rotations are coming. Motivate Trust might want to try and force a fight. Xavius is still on the map, but the RP is going to be committed right away into the stacks. But no, the what? Yeah, no. the neutral creeps, they just get him. Motivate at the moment, so I think Polaris could easily keep the fight up. But they'll be very careful, because you are close to that tier 2 mid. In fact, that's why you've got to be careful. They've got plenty of control, and they'll get the kill onto Lelouch. Lelouch will try to be annoying, depending on that top here. When they understand, they can't afford to open up this top jungle to give farm towards that piece of void. Yeah, Q. He's going to try to run. They've got the bugs out. In fact, the chase will be on, but the silence is there. Lelouch is going to be careful, but he doesn't have to be careful, though. It's Q does jump in, and now, in fact, they found another. Looks like Maseros is set to fall here to the Ember. Fearless, he'll be the third target to get picked off. The snowball does connect. And Polaris, they're doing it again, John. Jackie, in trouble now, is going to be forced to time walk away. Because he does still have the Chrono, but without the Snapfire up, you don't have the damage. So I don't think they can really commit the Chrono for any form of a kill right now. In the meantime, Motivate, they're going to smoke up as four and perhaps try to get this Chrono Mortimus Kisses combo working. Because it looks like they have spotted Natsumi in the mid lane as Masteros. He'll get in with the skewer back. They're going to have to take him out twice. Soulbind is there. Big Chrono out. Jackie, he's caught three targets. They'll go right after the supports first. Already taken down Mavis, but they can't quite find the task. In fact, in the meantime, Masteros, he's already ended up going down without buyback. In Lelouch, he'll join the team fight. Polaris, they can just go for way more as they found Jackie on the void now and they can take him down in time. He could not get the time walk off. In fact, they might even find more as Xavius was continuing the chase. We'll have to eventually back off, I think. Because he doesn't really have the teammates around to help him out. In fact, never mind, he does force his in. Snowball will save him by time. Back on a field as they go and Lelouch will join the team fight. The snap fire is going to drop as they even find Boom Booey. Very aggressive plays here from Polaris, all working out. As it seems like they even want to try and dive Q. Mavis, though, does get caught by the skewer of Masteros into the RP, and they at least find a support. Maelstrom is enough to really overwhelm all the heroes inside of Motivate Trust. Top lane, though, they at least make the jump back in on Xavius, but he's got the time lapse. No. 
Oh, I mean, this is getting worse and worse as we go on. Q now. Just gonna be turned on as Force just blows him up. Just the uppercut was more than enough, and now Boom Boo, he's been caught. Snowball will land. Lelouch is gonna join in. Jackie, have you got the chrono? He does, but I don't know if he can really get one off. RP's there, though. That'll drag him right back in, and Jackie, he'll commit the chrono now. Fearless, though, no kisses available, but they at least get forced down, and there goes Lelouch. They finally oh get a team fight going, but Jackie, can he get himself out? Raid Fire Blast is there onto the void. He'll keep trying to time walk away, but they might just have the damage, and they do. It looked good to start, but it doesn't look great to end. They will find another. And Deso's now completely up on Natsumi. You might just want to look for support kills, maybe kill off the Tusk, but the bigger course takes way too much commitment to kill. Xavius has been caught out again, and, but I say that there's so many ways for him to get out. Healers, though, he's really been caught out. Lelouch going to give the tip over. Maybe just kind of sending that message, John. This is how you play Ember vs. Snapfire. And uh, I mean, it's working out for him. He, he lost the lane, and in fact, he's still behind in net worth, but they are still winning the game quite heavily. It's top lane. Natsumi onto Maseros. He'll try to skewer out, but Xavius is going to be right behind him. And Lelouch will take another kill on the Emperor. In fact, mid lane now. They found Jackie again on the void. He'll just drop instantly to the support of Mavis and Force of the Tusk. And now they'll get another. Make it Boom Boy to drop. Four down on Motivate. It's like Natsumi doesn't even need a BKB this game. He doesn't have any control to worry about because he knows all of that, all of the spells will be thrown out on his first life in the Chronosphere. Although Natsumi a bit forward, keeps R in to defend that bot tier two here. They have Chrono, they're gonna try and commit it onto Natsumi. Keep in mind he has reincarnate, John. I'm not sure about this. Boom Boo in the meantime, he gets caught out, and now Jackie's been silenced, but a nice RP Maseroth. He'll try to jump back in, but Lelouch, he'll take down Jackie already. Onto the next. They'll take down Q and Fearless. Take a knee, peasant says Natsumi, as they get the bot tier two tower. This game is looking very, very over now. Too much off the back of that win. But they elevate their lead here, Mike. 13 to 31, 12k, 13k lead on hand. And for Motivate Trust, I, I think it really just starts to boil back to high ground. They can move into that Radiant Triangle if they wish. They still do require to get that tier 2 mid tower, but that's no problem as Jackie again has been caught out here by the Ember. Aegis is up. Meanwhile, Fearless, he's dropped bot lane. They've already lost the Snapfire, but they might lose the Aegis on Lelouch. In fact, never mind, they won't. They are forced to back off too early on. So the jump is in onto Q, but who are you really aiming? They want Jackie and they'll get the chains out. Snowball will be there onto two heroes force. It's all perfect. In the meantime, Radiant Base. Motivate, they are just running back towards the fountain. All very aggressive, ensuring that no one can step outside base and just punishing any sort of- Oh, Jackie, he's been caught out again with the ink spawn. Just look how fast he goes down. It just takes a walrus punch. Onto the Earth Spirit. Maseros, he'll go for a skewer back, but they've got nothing to work with. They've got no void. He's not buying back either. I think they're about to call it. But you've got the buybacks there, but yeah, they call it GG. Motivate Trust, they will be out in third place in Polaris Esports. Make it all the way through to the grand finals of the BTS Pro Series Season 9. And John, who would have believed that? If you told them before we started that Polaris was going to make it all the way here, I don't think anyone would have believed it.